there. I'm a Bim Bambinos and Tasmaniacs and Monster Factory fans of all ages um, and genders. Here is um, a video showing you where the Fallout 76 tribute to uh, Justin and Griffin's Monster Factory episode on Fallout 4. You can find it right here north of Camden Park. You just head on the road and the first house you come to, it is right there. It's a pretty standard looking house. You go in the front door and first we see Pam's favorite weapon. I don't remember if that stuff is relevant. I mean, there's a baby bottle. Um, if the doll head and cotton yarn is relevant, please someone tell me. I've watched it four or five times and it looks significant, but I don't remember it being significant. Anyway, poor metal husband. Uh, baby bottle. This might be a clue. And so is this. Hey, Rochi, taking a break from the dancing. Uh, here we have in the baby crib where he belongs. Let's fix the baby. And Pam's outfit. Now, another reason I'm making this video, partly because people on um, a Bim Ban uh, Facebook group were talking about, you know, does it exist, where it is, and I told people I'd make a video. Also, like yesterday or the day before, I was on the Atomic Shop, and for the first and only time, I accidentally bought something. I swear to God, it was an accident. I um, thought I was just looking at it, and it accidentally double-clicked it or something, and bought these <laughs> fucking haunted dolls. That is literally Annabelle. So um, I took that as a sign that I needed to make a, uh, a whole McElroy camp. So we go out the front and we have Taco's uh, traveling cooking show truck. I really, his shelf of food, I really need to put some rat poison in there. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Maybe toxic water, but I think rat poison would work. There's his boyfriend uh, and a harmful racial stereotype. This is uh, Magnus's tribute, I guess, area. And uh, his mannequin self. Usually, there's a there's a junkyard gathering dog, junk gathering dog here, but he's not he's not home right now. But Magnus does have a dog. Over here, we have um, Merle in his pedals to the metal outfit, which was the closest outfit I could find to a Merle thing. Battling in chess with his friend John the water they drink, and a gnome because, yeah, that's Merle, and there's another harmful racial stereotype. Uh, General Mabim Bam stuff. Yep. Let the big dog run. And, oh, right, over here is, um, for, uh, in honor of Amnesty, we've got Ned's curio shop and his car and Duck Newton. And then inside on the back porch is the closest I could come to a McElroy Emma Bim Bam TV show set. Uh, they have glasses of water or drinks on the table or coffee. I couldn't build any of that stuff and you can't place random items on surfaces like in Fallout 4. So they get steins. Um, I couldn't put like notes on the front of their desk, but I was able to do the magnetic refrigerator letters. Uh, they have stuff on the wall in the back. This is stuff. I mean, the closest I could find to actual McElroy things. Beach. They don't have an Olive Garden sign, but whatevs. Uh, there's a hanging upside down Santa Claus on their real set, so I had that. Um, and there's a door in the back that opens to a. Uh, a framed poster thing, which I think is is amazingly similar. And then uh, we come back in. Another amnesty thing. I can't find anything to make Ned or Audrey. These are the closest iconic things I was able to find. And then out on the front porch, there are many fans. <laughs> 